The fact that the most great name of God equaled nine seemed very important to him. As everything he had read in both the Baha'i scriptures and other religious texts spoke of nine being the omnipotent number. So next he drew out a circle with the nine at the top and one through eight around the circle clockwise. Then he discovered a very intriguing number system within the circle. Marco then knew he had stumbled upon something very profound. This circle with its hidden number sequence was a symbol of enlightenment. This is the mathematical fingerprint of God. Follow along as the amazing properties of this symbol unveil themselves to you. There is perfect symmetry wrapped around a single point, coiling outwards, the same way petals are wrapped in a rose. Or a nautilus shell spirals outwards. Let's say there are two opposites, call them light and dark if you like. They are like the north and south poles of a magnet. One side is 1, 2, and 4, while the other side is 8, 7, and 5. Just like in electricity, everything in the universe is a stream between these two polar sides. Like a swinging pendulum, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. And if you could imagine the movement as something like the symbol for infinity. However, these two sides are governed by 3 and 6. 3 governs 1, 2, and 4, while 6 governs 8, 7, and 5. And if you look at the pattern closely, it gets even more interesting. 1 and 2 equals 3, 2 and 4 equals 6, 4 and 8 equals 12, but 1 plus 2 equals 3, 8 and 7 equals 6, 7 and 5 equals 3, 5 and 1 equals 6, 1 and 2 equals 3. The same pattern on a higher scale is actually 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6. But even these two sides, 3 and 6, are governed by 9, which shows something spectacular. Looking closely at the pattern of 3 and 6, you realize that 3 and 6 equals 9. 6 and 3 equals 9. Add all the numbers together, and it will still equal 9, both ways, excluding and including 3 and 6. So 9 means unity of both sides. 9 is the universe itself. The vibration, the energy, and the frequency, 3, 6, and 9. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla. There is a deeper philosophical truth in this. Just imagine what we can accomplish if we learn and apply this sacred knowledge in everyday science. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Nikola Tesla